that a little mm-hmm. bit. But let me first ask Amiria, do you believe that we are, they are born or made? Well, I think uh, both cases uh, uh, are true because mm-hmm. like, uh, we've seen some cases whereby we have seen people who are in, into leadership because either they are come from a family or maybe historically from ancestral line which has some leadership traits. Mm-hmm. Even tracing back to the Bible, we've seen, we had families which were so much into leadership. Mm-hmm. And they're also made because we see mm-hmm. we have some program of mentorship whereby maybe when you have somebody who is a leader who is, who is so much into maybe serving the people mm-hmm. and to get the mentorship you get to learn from the person, mm-hmm. then you easily become a leader. So both they are made mm-hmm. and also they are also born. Okay. But I, I, I don't know whether being born in a family where mm-hmm. uh, leadership is... Uh, Equates to being a leader. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think what uh, my friend here is saying mm-hmm. is that th- then you socialize to, to leadership. Mm-hmm. So then it may not be you are born a leader, mm-hmm. but you are socialized mm-hmm. by your family mm-hmm. and the people around you mm-hmm. to be a leader. Mm-hmm. And then, so you find you may have not have been born with strong qualities for a leader and attributes for a leader, mm-hmm. but because you have socialized that way, mm-hmm. you have no choice. Your father was a leader, your grandfather was a leader, your mm-hmm. uncles are leaders. So the only thing you know around your environment is leadership. Mm-hmm. So that is why I say mm-hmm. you can be born with uh, those qualities I but see. you can be also be socialized you into, can be socialized yeah um I, f- I found the question very interesting uh considering your background in military as well mm-hmm. i used to be our former vice president mikey back aide and i'd like to understand how military are, are people who tend to take instructions not give instructions <laughs> so now that you're an, a member of parliament and you give instructions can we understand how the transition occurred First of all, mm-hmm. the military, mm-hmm. and um, I'm very glad to talk mm-hmm. about the military because mm-hmm. there's a lot of misconception about the military. Mm-hmm. Military uh, is, an, is, a, is a profession like any other, mm-hmm. and uh, it is not actually true mm-hmm. that they just take instructions. Mm-hmm. Somebody in the military is giving the instructions. Mm-hmm. In fact, this is where leadership is actually cultivated, mm-hmm. and you can say as we are saying, mm-hmm. also a bit of, uh, quite a bit of nurturing to mm-hmm. leadership. Mm-hmm. Because everybody in the military starts from the bottom. Mm-hmm. If you're an officer, you start as a second lieutenant, mm-hmm. then you grow mm-hmm. to become a general. Mm-hmm. If you're a serviceman, you start as a private, mm-hmm. then you can grow to become a warrant officer, mm-hmm. uh, which is the highest rank. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of nurturing. Mm-hmm. So you start backing orders mm-hmm. uh, from the day <laughs> mm-hmm. you enter, mm-hmm. and you are also receiving orders. Mm-hmm. So it's not a question of just receiving orders. Mm-hmm. You also give orders. Mm-hmm. And, and, and therefore, I would say, uh, contrary to the belief that maybe it was a, bad, it was a messy transition or mm-hmm. it's difficult to transit, mm-hmm. I learned my leadership in the military. Mm-hmm. And then... In the in the politics, mm-hmm. it was just a question of uh, mutating mm-hmm. and just translating what I learned in the military. Mutating the and translating. <laughs> <laughs> I like the words. Sorry. All right, I think we can move on to our next uh, 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 statement here. We have um, a leader provides vision for generations to come. Yes. A politician is concerned about the next uh, election. So, according to you guys, what's the difference? Let me start with Kaberia. Well, way. I think uh, also when we talk about politicians versus the leaders, there is also a lot of misconceptions. Mm-hmm. Because there is nothing like this size fits it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is nothing like this is the common behavior for all politicians mm-hmm. or maybe for all the leaders. Mm-hmm. Because we have had situations whereby we have seen politicians mm-hmm. actually even not putting attention, who are not even creating followers. Mm-hmm. We've seen politicians who are actually mentoring other people into leadership. Mm-hmm. So I think one thing we need to get is that uh, being in politics also does not guarantee that you are a leader mm-hmm. because leadership is not about the followers but i believe leadership is more about even mentoring other leaders mm-hmm. as opposed to creating just followers and being seen as you are the most public person so i think that's my opinion on matters of that politics and the, the followers okay yeah. okay so um, see, let me hear from monica before me she be my response <laughs> he looks like he's just about to comment yeah. um i don't know i can say maybe context uh mm-hmm. in a 
it depends on the context. Mm -hmm. Often in, in, con in a society like Kenya's mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. and most African societies, mm -hmm. politicians, leadership, it's, it's seen as one thing, mm -hmm. which is uh, distinctly not, mm -hmm. because a uh, politician is involved with the activities of politics, which is the struggle for power. Mm -hmm. And uh, a leader is concerned about much more about, you know, uh, after the power, then what next? Mm -hmm. And then now a leader is involved in the long-term process mm -hmm. of planning mm -hmm. and strategizing mm -hmm. for a people and a, a, and a country or a, as a, a region as a whole, mm -hmm. as opposed to a very short-term uh, short interest, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which can be described as the political activity. Mm -hmm. So this is a very distinctive, uh, you know, uh, thing, and mm -hmm. I think it should be identified that Politicians are not necessarily leaders, mm -hmm. and leaders are not necessarily po politicians, mm -hmm. but either one of those could be both. Yes. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. Mesh now let's hear. <laughs> you do you consider yourself a politician or a leader in this, this, in, in this particular scenario? Uh, thank you, Hilda. Mm. I think, uh, let me start by how I ended up being a politician. <laughs> I ended up being a politician mm -hmm. because I worked for the president, mm -hmm. and I discovered mm -hmm. He doesn't like uh, uh, gossip. He doesn't like too much talk, mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like the usual talk of mm -hmm. politicians. Mm -hmm. He actually didn't like it. Mm -hmm. He wanted to talk about an issue. He wanted to talk about a solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. And I said, if this is what he has been all his life mm -hmm. as a politician, mm -hmm. then I can make it. Mm -hmm. Because again, I also get I tire mm -hmm. with a lot of uh, bickering and gossiping and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And what I learned from, from that mm -hmm. is that you have to be a leader first. Mm -hmm. And then you seek a mm -hmm. political platform mm -hmm. to express your leadership. Mm -hmm. So to me, the, politi the politics mm -hmm. is just a platform where I can express mm -hmm. my leadership, uh, whatever goals and all that. Mm -hmm. Because without the going of political office, mm -hmm. then I cannot access mm -hmm. uh, my people of better south mm -hmm. to a system. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to seek the platform mm -hmm. and play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, once the game is over, mm -hmm. then I have to go back to leadership to, to, to plan for the long term mm -hmm. uh, strategies mm -hmm. for the people of better south. Mm -hmm. So I, I see it as a politics is just a platform mm -hmm. for leadership. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily that you have to compare the two. I see. No. So, so you're basically saying it's one is an instrument of the other. Absolutely. An instrument means to, uh, to, 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 means to an end. To, one, to an end, yes. To, uh, to leadership. Mm. Okay, so um, we have one, <laughs> one interesting one which came from Monica, by the way. Um, in this one is, uh, make sure you pay attention, this one is going to start up uh, something. All right, so in order to be a politician, you must be ready to kill, steal, and lie. This is according to political <laughs> science. Okay, I don't know, Mahashimi, do I start with you or do I start with the analyst first? So do I give Monica a chance? Give <laughs> Monica to tell us what she... <laughs> um, okay. uh, yes, uh, this is, uh, it is very, uh, that statement is very philosophical, it mm -hmm. is very academic, it is very scholarly, but it is what has been said of politics, it is what the early, you know, um, philosophers in politics mm -hmm. put through. These are uh, the Machiavellis, the, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the Thucydides, then they put this across in mm -hmm. order to be to make a good politician mm -hmm. you must be able to at least one kill mm -hmm. two steal mm -hmm. kill three and mm -hmm. that's that's the theory mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know maybe uh, maheshimua can tell us if this maybe is has some <laughs> of these qualities <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you I haven't killed yet i haven't stolen yet i don't intend to do all those mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. uh, i think is a perception and a build up of narratives mm -hmm. Obviously, there are people in uh, history who have misused power. Mm -hmm. And here we're not talking about actually leadership per se. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about politics per mm -hmm. se. We're actually talking about people who seek power. Mm -hmm. And then they feel constrained mm -hmm. to do anything mm -hmm. that they can mm -hmm. to access power. Mm -hmm. uh, from my side of point, point of view mm -hmm. is that uh, power comes with responsibility. Mm -hmm. And, and those who seek power mm -hmm. for the power's sake, then you mm -hmm. find they are prepared to do many, many things, even uh, unpalatable things, mm -hmm. uh, to access power. Mm -hmm. But if you are a leader, mm -hmm. then you also recognize that mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. comes with responsibility. Mm -hmm. And therefore, mm -hmm. the more power you have, the more constraints you have. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the most powerful person in Kenya, the president, mm -hmm. is severely constrained yes, yes. by the law, mm. by the perception, by parties, by his friends. Mm -hmm. He gets a lot of constraint mm -hmm. to even exercise that power. Mm -hmm. So if he is a leader, mm -hmm. then he feels constraint mm -hmm. and he has to maneuver his way around the constraints mm -hmm. uh, around power. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is just looking for power, mm -hmm for self-expression mm -hmm. then those are the kind of people who go into killing and all that kind of thing okay yeah. so it's selfishness that is the that is, is the drive selfishness. according to you i wouldn't even theory. call them uh, leaders i don't mm. think they are leaders Kaviri, what do you have what do you, what do you have to say about this do you what? believe that a politician should possess one, all three of these traits <laughs> or one of the three in order to stay afloat well i think uh, <coughs> it depends mm -hmm. because uh, that statement um, as she said, it's mm -hmm. it's philosophical. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason why it was put across, mm -hmm. maybe based on the past experiences which we have seen in politics. Mm -hmm. But looking at even the scenario in Kenya, as now we're trying to put it into context, mm -hmm. what is said that, what sacrifice, what mm -hmm. extent do politicians make for mm -hmm. them to gain power? Mm -hmm. So because we've seen previously, we, uh, politicians, they do all sorts of things mm -hmm. from uh, trying even to take people's lives, because mm -hmm. we've seen when we come to one's elections, mm. we've have, uh, been having so many cases of kidnapping, mm. whereby even the rivals or even the opponents are being kidnapped. Mm -hmm. We've heard of cases like what we had in 2017, whereby mm -hmm. one of the, in some constituency, opponent mm -hmm. was actually killed. Mm -hmm. Another one was kidnapped and found uh, after some dates. Mm -hmm. And also maybe from his own county, we've heard of cases whereby also the speaker went maybe missing or <laughs> whether it was a game or not, but uh, it's things which we've seen mm -hmm. with politicians. Mm -hmm. And also there's a lot of investment Mm -hmm. which people make for them to access power. Mm -hmm. We've seen people leaving some very high-flying jobs in corporates, mm -hmm. then coming to politics, and then people ask, what is it that is in this politics that people are willing to go that extra mm -hmm. mile? Mm -hmm. And we have not seen that leadership push. Mm -hmm. Either this person wants to protect some loot, mm -hmm. or either this person wants to push some personal agenda. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something which we've seen, but it does not mean necessarily that you need to have mm -hmm. all those qualities. Mm -hmm. So it also matters and also maybe what somebody's ready to put to get that power. Okay. Mahashimiba, do you have anything to add before I, I say what, what it is I need to say? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the only thing I, mm -hmm. I could add mm -hmm. is that um, when we go to elect leaders, mm -hmm. Uh, we need to be careful mm -hmm. because at the electioneering period mm -hmm. there's a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. People come with all manner of promises, all manner of things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they offer money, mm -hmm. they offer mm -hmm. all, all manner of things. Mm -hmm. That if you elect a leader mm -hmm. because of money, because mm -hmm. of uh, false promises, mm -hmm. then you're stuck with him. Mm -hmm. You are stuck with him for the next five years. He's a parliamentary seat. Mm -hmm. and th therefore, people should be very, very uh, mm -hmm. careful and examine mm -hmm. why is this person coming to this to this platform mm -hmm. why is he coming to us now mm -hmm. perhaps he's been absent mm -hmm. you should interrogate mm -hmm. and find out why if it's just for the sake of power mm -hmm. please deny him because okay. that will not help you okay okay interesting sorry um <clears throat> akaberia has brought uh, something up uh, which i found uh, interesting you used to be the former chairman of the national cereal and produce board and uh currently they're having a lot of issues when it comes to food security and scandals are just looming in that area and we'd like to understand as a leader now that you're out of the, of that particular uh c scenario but um do you feel like you can still weigh in on some of those issues do you feel like they follow you behind do you feel like people people are like the people who are here before are the reason for this mess it means most kenyans say that do you feel like you had any part to do with it and also um as w once you're the chairman how do you take care of interest of yourself um the farmers and the cartels and the law that be the powers that be how do you find that balance uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I think Kenyans uh, remember that uh, problems of National Children's Police Board are mm -hmm. historical, mm -hmm. not just recent history. Mm -hmm. They run way far mm -hmm. in, in the history of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And one just Googling, you will see mm -hmm. that there's been scandal after scandal mm -hmm. uh, around maize. Mm -hmm and around National Cities and Produce Board. Mm -hmm. uh, when I arrived there, I had no idea mm -hmm. how big the problem is. The problem is very big. Oh, okay. 
and uh, part of the problem is actually structural mm -hmm. that the the repair of functions mm -hmm. under the Ministry of Agriculture mm -hmm. and there are many things mm -hmm. that they are assumed to be doing mm -hmm. and they don't do mm -hmm. it's done in the ministry and then it is assigned mm -hmm. for instance big contracts mm -hmm. fertilizer for instance mm -hmm. those are big contracts five billion mm -hmm. uh, shipments mm -hmm. in about three weeks and it's finished mm -hmm. it's a very very big uh, uh, contract mm -hmm. those are actually negotiated mm -hmm. at the ministry level mm -hmm. the serious board is just assigned mm -hmm. And then they look for money mm -hmm. and put in the contract mm -hmm. and deliver. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Mm -hmm. So when uh, things go bad, mm -hmm. nobody knows mm -hmm. the background <laughs> of this contract, mm -hmm. where it was assigned, mm -hmm. uh, who negotiated it. Mm -hmm. They just assume mm -hmm. it's a serious board. And that's one of the problems that I had to deal with. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, uh, there was for still problems of and do farmers actually get the benefits of the fertilizer? Mm -hmm. Do f actual farmers uh, get the benefits of the purchases of, of, of maize? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had to step in personally. Mm -hmm. I used to go around the country. Mm -hmm. I used to go and check up. We used to have meetings with the ministry. Mm -hmm. And I thank God mm -hmm. while I was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least we were able to uh, fed off the cartels that are filtering um, the fertilizer mm -hmm. and also be able to sell maize, mm -hmm. uh, to buy maize from the right, uh, right people. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but listen, uh, Hilda, mm -hmm. I, I think what we require at the National Serious Board is a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. It's a complete change of how business happens. Mm -hmm. They have to be given independence. Mm -hmm. But you cannot do things on the side, mm -hmm. assign them to serious board, and then blame them. Mm -hmm. And that is why even the blame doesn't go far. Mm -hmm. Because actually, mm -hmm. people know they actually, most of them didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to defend them. Mm -hmm. But in many cases, they don't do the big mm -hmm. things. So I, I think they need to be a, a, a surgery, they need to paradigm shift, mm -hmm. just detach mm -hmm. serious board, let it do its business so mm -hmm. that they can be blamed for what they do. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, nothing is following me mm -hmm. because I did, <laughs> <laughs> I, did my, mm -hmm. I did the best I could mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. and I survived five years. Mm -hmm. There was no such scandal. There was filtering on that mm -hmm. and I appeared in media many times mm -hmm. uh, catching people who are diverting fertilizer mm -hmm. and things like those mm -hmm. and so I it was just vigilance mm -hmm. that I did mm -hmm. but the structures are wrong and that's a big big thing so that's something that if they don't sort that out we are going to continue to see this we're going problems. to have problems we are still going to have problems okay yeah Okay, I think at, at least now we've gotten a bit of an explanation yeah. on what we could uh, mm. on what we could assume happened with the NCPB. Mm. There was also something else that was brought up, which you said um, that you should check the kind of leaders that are being elected. Are they bribing? Are they are they bribing voters or what have you? Um, when you were when you were uh, when you won your seat in the year two thousand and seventeen, it was petitioned. Yes. And um, the 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 complainant said that um, you were bribing the voters yes. <laughs> with uh, with five hundred shillings, and he actually accused you of witchcraft. Yes. 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 So I would like to understand as a leader, how do you deal with this? This is a paradox of leadership. Yeah. The person who petitioned mm -hmm. my election mm -hmm. was position seven. Mm -hmm. He was not even the second or third <laughs> or fourth. He was position seven. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. the kind of things he came up with mm -hmm. were even ridiculous in court. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and, and that this is what uh, Mr. Kaberia was saying, mm -hmm. that there are people who go out of their way mm -hmm. and they spend a lot of money. Yes. And they, and they, and they, 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 are, they are assured. Mm -hmm. They talk to other people, they are assured, this mm -hmm. is yours. Mm -hmm. So when it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. they are in shock. <laughs> and they, they don't know what to do, mm -hmm. they don't know what to say, mm -hmm. uh, probably they have run out of money, mm -hmm. so they run to court mm -hmm. to save face. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what happened, uh, they are trying to, to save face. Okay. So they said all manner of uh, ridiculous things. Yes, I saw uh, that. And even the, even the judge kept mm -hmm. on asking him, then even <laughs> if you are given all the votes that you are asking for, mm -hmm. you don't even come close to number four. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how are you going to uh, how, how are we going to resolve this? Mm -hmm. uh, but it was saving face, mm -hmm. and this is why I say, let mm -hmm. us examine who is this who mm -hmm. is offering himself mm -hmm. for for leadership, mm -hmm. and and it was simple. Mm -hmm. The reason why mm -hmm. he was even rejected is that mm -hmm. it doesn't even come from the area. Mm -hmm. So when people, uh, they took money mm -hmm. in, the, in the first instance, mm -hmm. then after some time they discovered, oh, who is this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They discovered this fella doesn't even come from, he just recently bought a piece of land, mm -hmm. and here he is. He doesn't know <laughs> us, he doesn't know the area. Oh. Uh, sometimes he goes to campaign across the border. Mm -hmm. He goes, he goes, bah, he busts mm -hmm. the constituency, mm -hmm. because he doesn't know the border of the constituency. And he's me doing campaigns in Ukambani mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. And only okay, let us not attack him yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm just saying <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I was taken uh, to court. Mm. It was quite an experience, mm -hmm. because then, uh, then, then uh, you have to fight perception. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and um, thank God, mm -hmm. thank God, I, st I stayed my cool, mm -hmm. I waited for thing, and the verdict came mm -hmm. that there was no such thing. Yes, yeah. and congratulations for thank your you. win. <laughs> thank okay, you. okay, okay, let's hear from Kaberia and Monica. Uh, when it comes to saving faith, like he's talking about when in leadership, how do we know? Like, um, like somebody is, is, is genuine with us or not? What are some of the qualities that you think uh, should be outstanding about a leader? Um, one of the things that uh, we should look out for, and uh, um, Heshimwa is very correct, that we yes. should be more vigilant as, mm -hmm. as individuals, as, as the citizens, mm -hmm. as the people who vote, mm -hmm. is a track record, as mm -hmm. in uh, we should be curious enough to want to investigate where has this person been, who was he, mm -hmm. and how had he performed where he was? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are his issues with integrity? Mm -hmm. Are there cases of him? Are there even rumors? Mm -hmm. We should not be at a point where we entertain even just a rumor of someone lacking in integrity mm -hmm. and still being in office. Mm -hmm. So this kind of vigilance is not really so hard to come across. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of, uh, uh, with the age of social media and all this, you know, uh, technology that is available, it is so easy to find out about mm -hmm. a person's, you know, trust record find mm -hmm. out about their personality their mm -hmm. their you know who they are as a people mm -hmm. and uh, it is quite easy for people to do that mm -hmm. but uh, I think short-term gains uh, uh, you know blind people mm -hmm. especially if you are young and desperate have no job mm -hmm. and the short-term gain of 500 shillings it is very alluring mm -hmm. although some someone may not understand it who is very stable uh, mm -hmm. where they are financially mm -hmm. but for someone who's destitute mm -hmm. in the streets has mm -hmm. no job and mm -hmm. there's short-term you know uh, mm -hmm. Uh, a short term a success to be achieved in that 500 bob, mm -hmm. it is something that will actually make someone mm -hmm. change their mind. Mm -hmm. And so the, the most important thing is to work on those root causes of mm -hmm. why people are not concerned about, you know, uh, the things that matter, the character of a person, the integrity. Mm -hmm. So what are these root causes? And it is uh, systemic factors, uh, mm -hmm. structural factors, mm -hmm. this uh, lack of employment, lack of offering, quality education that will spur growth, innovativeness, mm -hmm. and all these things. So mm -hmm. this is what is really lacking. Mm -hmm. It is not uh, that we're not seeing a good politician. Mm. It is that the base structures are not strong enough mm -hmm. to support even a strong, knowledgeable, mm -hmm. and independent thinking uh, citizen. Mm -hmm. I think that's the problem. Yes. Okay, Kaberia. Well, uh, for me, uh, on these matters, I have two examples, maybe mm -hmm. practical examples to give. One, mm -hmm. back in my county, Meru County, mm -hmm. the current member of parliament for Gembe South, mm -hmm. Honorable John Paul Muiregi, mm -hmm. It's just somebody who was elected without any money. Just a very humble guy, just mm -hmm. in college, and was really competing with the uh, big money, the people. Mm -hmm. But now when you look, it's not something which is common. That's why we put it as history. Mm -hmm. Because in Kenya, the kind of uh, scenarios we have, we swear by it's the rich, mm -hmm. the famous, and the people from maybe the big families and big background mm -hmm. who are elected into offices, mm -hmm. irregardless mm -hmm. of the atrocity and the things which they have done in the past. Mm -hmm. Remembering some time back, there is this uh, common professor, Pierlo Lumumba, mm -hmm. he vied in, uh, I think, Parkland's constituency as mm -hmm. a member of parliament, mm -hmm. and he lost terribly. Mm -hmm. Because his campaign platform was on integrity and issues. Mm -hmm. And when you read his book, he said that he came to realize that in Kenya, mm -hmm. the voters does not, do not look at the issues of integrity. They are not looking at the person as maybe the type of leadership you want to give. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not giving them 
money, if you're not giving them maybe false promises, mm. if you're campaigning on a honest platform, mm. then maybe there's a high chance that you'll be elected out. You won't get any votes. Wow, I would actually like the, the, the MP in, in studio to comment on that. So Kenyans, we are the problem. It's not even the politicians. Exactly. <laughs> because um, from <laughs> what I'm hearing from Kabiria is he's saying that Kenyans want some, someone who will lie to them. They don't even, when, he, when somebody builds their campaign on integrity, they don't go anywhere, but Kenyans want someone to lie to them. Do you think that there's a problem with the electorate of this country? Uh, well, I, it's, it is a problem, mm -hmm. but I think it would be not right to generalize mm -hmm. in that manner. Mm -hmm. uh, people want to hear issues. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes mm -hmm. when one creates a lot of hype mm -hmm. around an individual mm -hmm. and then goes for money and the other things, mm -hmm. then you have a problem that he pulls a crowd mm -hmm. and the fella who has substance does not have the crowd. Oh. Now, so okay. I, I think for uh, when you, you go to the platform, mm -hmm. then you have to have the skill to mix so that oh. you you have to say a bit of what they want to hear. Let me tell you <laughs> one of the things mm -hmm. that... Uh, was in this campaign, which I did not do mm -hmm. in the campaign 2013 because mm -hmm. I ran twice. Mm -hmm. This, my last campaign, mm -hmm. we did a lot of singing and dancing. Hype. <laughs> you know, just traditional dances and uh, <laughs> songs that people know, uh -huh. and they sing along. Uh -huh. We did a lot of that. So it <laughs> was, every, uh -huh. every meeting was a happy occasion. Mm -hmm. And that happy occasion then allowed me to say, Mm -hmm. what I needed to say wow. and even to sell my policies okay. and if they get bored we sing some more mm -hmm. <laughs> <And> they, <laughs> so one has to be tactful mm -hmm. but if you're just hammering mm -hmm. uh, people are different stages That's if true. you are just doing policy mm -hmm. and uh, programs and mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. people are different stages mm -hmm. unless you sing uh, to illustrate mm -hmm. uh, or do something to illustrate mm -hmm. then you find you can't carry everybody you're only oh. talking maybe to a few uh, professionals that mm -hmm. understand what you're saying. Yes. But the rest of the people are wondering yeah. uh, what is going on. Yeah. So uh, I think it's a bit of both. And okay. I think the politician mm -hmm. has to have the ability mm -hmm. to mix his issues mm -hmm. uh, with the content mm -hmm. that the people are used to. Mm -hmm. Like the dance, the okay. better dance. Balance, being able to blend in with the, with the, with the people. Absolutely. Okay, 